Here's another one that's good to prove by contradiction. So we've got three integers that form a Pythagorean triple, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And the claim is that uh, either a or b is even. Now, remember that mathematicians, unless they say very explicitly otherwise, or is inclusive. So this includes the possibility that a and b uh, are both even. Um, so you might think it's not that natural to prove it by contradiction um, because it's not it's sort of obviously a negative statement. But one of the things is proving an or is kind of awkward because you're not, you can't, we're not asking to prove that A specifically is even. Well, it's kind of slippery. Well, it might actually be B that's even. So you might think of breaking up into cases or something, um, but it's really, when you want to prove an or, you, you should think about uh, proving it by contradiction because what's the negation of the conclusion here? Okay, we're going to assume, and again, we could say for, for purposes of contradiction, if we really want to be clear about that, but we don't have to, assume that A and B are both odd. Ah, that's a very specific statement. So an and, it's A is odd and B is odd. So it's a very important principle of logic known as De Morgan's Law, which is the negation of an or turns into an and. So we're assuming that they're both odd, okay? And that we can really do something with, okay? In particular, that means A is of the form 2K plus 1, and b is of the form 2l plus 1. So, yeah, actually, let me be really precise. So there exist, and this is a little lemma uh, that we really should prove if we were being super careful, but it's the fact that any odd number is 1 plus an even number, and, any, and that's what we're using here. So there exists k and l such that... A and B are of this form. So um, I took something that was kind of vague. Yeah, it's not vague, really, but it's a little slippery, this or. We've turned it into an odd that we can assume to start the proof, and we've made that into algebra. So we took logic, turned it into a different kind of logic, an or turned into an and with a negation, and now we've turned it into equations, which are usually our favorite things to manipulate. OK, so now we can actually stick that in. A squared plus B squared equals... 2k plus 1 squared plus 2l plus 1 squared. Okay, so that's going to be 4k squared plus 4k plus 1 plus 4l squared plus uh, 4l plus 1. Okay, so the point here is that that's going to be 8 times a whole bunch of stuff. k squared plus k plus l squared plus l plus 2. Um, and actually, let me, why did I say 8? That's just stupid. It's 4, and that's what I want anyway. Okay, so that's of the form 4, I guess, uh, n plus 2. Okay, now I claim that that cannot be a square. Okay, so here's another little proof by contradiction. Um, 4n plus 2 is not... A square. Well, I guess we don't really have to do it by contradiction. Um, well, you see, let's we, let's do it just for just for the sake of it. Okay. So assume it is. So here we're doing a little proof by contradiction within a bigger one. Assume it is. So four n plus two equals, and I could call it c squared because that's how it's coming to me. But I'm gonna. Um, well, yeah, and I'm going to break it into cases. Okay, so I think, yeah. Okay, so if C is even, uh, if C is 2, let's see, I need another letter. If C is 2, uh, M, I guess, is available, then C squared is 4M squared. Okay, that is not going to be of the form 4n plus 2. That's divisible by 4. That's not divisible by 4. Okay, uh, if c was odd, then c squared would be 4m squared plus 4m plus 1. And that's odd. 
okay? And that's a pretty easy thing. Odd times odd is equal to odd, okay? And so that's certainly not equal to this even number 4n plus 2. What we're doing, a little preview of stuff we're going to talk about later, is we're looking at the remainders modulo 4. We're, going to look, we're looking at the remainder when you divide by 4 of these things, and that's proving to be crucial. We know that the a squared plus b squared, uh, when a and b are both odd, has remainder 2 when divided by 4, and we're proving that that cannot be true of the square of an integer. Okay, so... Now, now we do want to be careful about wrapping it up. So what have we what have we shown? Okay, uh, we assumed that it was a square. Okay, so the, and that got into this little contradiction. Okay, so that means four n plus two, uh, which is equal to a squared plus b squared, is not a square. But wait, our assumption was. Right at the start, we were saying, no, we are really interested in a triple of integers that does form a Pythagorean triple. a squared plus b squared really is a square, so the original assumption must be false. Okay, so now we, we drop out back to our original assumption and our sort of outer level proof by contradiction. So the assumption that a or b and b are both odd is false. And here I'm really spelling out, because there are these two levels, I'm spelling out a little bit more than I'd absolutely have to, um, what the conclusion is. Hence either A or B, and I'll put in an or both to emphasize that, uh, but you don't have to, uh, is, okay, and I'll put a little box for the end of that proof. Okay, and that's where I want to stop this one.